Hi, this is Anand from Geekstick. In this video, we are going to see synchronize module in the Ansible. The purpose of this synchronize is to uh, data transaction between two remote hosts. We have seen copy and fetch. The purpose of copy is to copy the file from controller to a remote machine and fetch is to from remote to a controller machine. Now, we are going to see a synchronize. The purpose of the synchronize is to copy or move files between the two remote hosts. For that, we are going to use a module called synchronize. In synchronize, we will be using push and pull. The purpose of the pull is to, you will give a responsibility to a host one. From host one, we will pull the file to a host two. Likewise, in push, we will give delegation and also connect to a host two. From host two, what are the files are in host two that will be pushed to the host one. So the controller just it here, it will orchestrate only. It is not going to take any actual control. In fact, it is, here we are using a command called delegate. We are giving, a, uh, we are delegating the responsibility to the different host. There it will be taking care of the push and pull. Let us see it in the example now. In this demo, we are going to see a sync pull file. Let's see here a sync pull. Here, uh, just for our reference, I have given this host. It's commented actually. This is the way to comment in the YAML. Uh, under the broadcast, it is given like this. So if I say group broadcast one means uh, this host. Zero stands for this host. Here I am connecting to Ansible one. Here Ansible. Then CentOS support.com. From here, I am going to okay connect it to this machine from uh, and delegated to this is the way to delegate. So what's happened to the synchronized model, source, destination, and mode I set pull. So when I gave the uh, delegated the responsibility to the one that is support.com, I am pulling the file. So what will happen? The support.com it will pull this ansible txt over here when a.ini exists in this folder so let's run the script and see sync pull yes here i am printing this the sync status here here the message came true let's check this file over here yes the ansible txt came from ansible to the support so now we are successfully moved file between two remote hosts without having the intervention of the controller. Otherwise, what will happen? From Ansible, from this host, we will be copying to CentOS Jenkins. Then again, from Jen Jenkins, we will be pushing to support. Now, what, what happened? The hand handshake happened between these two remote hosts successfully. Now, again, if I try to run this file, what will happen? It's false. So, already the file exists. So, it will not be pulled again. Now, I'm going to execute the push. In push, what's hap what happened? It will be, as usual, it will be delegated to the support. Then from here, the state list.txt will be pushed to CentOS um, machine. Yeah, let's try now. Yes, it's true. Let's see. Yes, state list cop mode over here. Perfect. So that's the purpose of this uh, synchronous module using this push and pull so uh, the double work will be eliminated successfully just with a single command using synchronize we can handshake between these two remote hosts thank you